Development of modern microcontrollers is impossible without using development systems. Out of many microcontrollers, a developer has to choose one that meets the required specifications. The program has to be debugged and tested with a working device. It is important to make sure that the device functions properly before launching it into a serial production. Atmel offers a wide range of development systems based on AVR microcontrollers. They can be classified within each group according to their scope of application and cost. According to the application, we can single out the following types of development systems. Start Kit. These are in-circuit emulators and programmers. Application-specific developer kit. Certain development systems are all-purpose and can fit into several categories. For example, some can be called starter kits for in-circuit programmers. A starter kit gives the developer a quick start. One can skip designing and start developing and testing of applications right away. One of the most widely known starter kits by Atmel is the all-purpose development system STK500. In-circuit programming and controlling within the STK500 development system is done by two microcontrollers. They are AT Tiny 2313 and AT Mega 8535L. All the binding elements necessary for a microcontroller are installed on the plate. All the binding elements necessary for a microcontroller are installed on the plate. These are inbuilt VRs and two RS232 plug connectors. One serves for connection with the computer for programming and controlling. The other can serve other purposes. Microcontroller mounting panels come in enclosures DIP8, DIP20, DIP28 and DIP40. Sockets for connecting additional modules and extensions. Eight buttons and eight LED lights help organize input and output of information. A socket for connecting an external quartz crystal resonator. Sockets for connecting other external devices. All bidirectional ports of a microcontroller are accessible through connector pins. The kit comes with cables for serial ports, power supply and cross-plugging. It also includes a CD with AVR Studio 4 and a sample of AT Mega 8515. Amtel offers expansion modules for microcontrollers that come in TQFP enclosures. For instance, expansion module STK501 is designed for microcontrollers that come in TQFP64 enclosures of AT Mega 1 to 8 type. The module can be inserted into the sockets of STK500 like a mezzanine plate. STK500 can be controlled with an integrated developer environment, AVR Studio beginning from version 3.2. AVR Studio is distributed free of charge. The latest version is always available at Atmel website. The versatility of STK500 allows it to be used as a debugging plate, as a parallel and a serial in-circuit programmer for all types of AVR microcontrollers. To do this, you need to connect the destination drive with the ST10 in one socket on the STK500 with the help of a ribbon structured cable. As we can see, the STK500 starter kit is a powerful instrument for working with the AVR microcontrollers controllers by Edmel.